Today I am with Rick Bunzel with Pacific Crest Inspections and we are going to talk about house inspections and why they're so important yep. and what the main items are that we frequently see. Yep. If you're if you're spent today if you're spending a half million dollars or more buying a house, it absolutely makes sense not to waive the inspection. Uh, you, you have to know what you're buying and that's probably one of the biggest investments that you're going to be making in your life. So you want to have that home home inspection and yeah. frequently that inspection will uh, identify the big things. Uh, for example, today if you have to replace a furnace and a lot of people yeah. don't maintain their furnaces the way that they should and now as winter approaches it becomes more more important. Mm -hmm. but. To buy a new furnace today, you're going to spend easily between four and six thousand dollars. Exactly, um, and that's that's a big deal. And you know, mm -hmm. as we all know, furnaces never fail on the warm days. <laughs> they always fail when there's that cold snap, and so you want to know whether that furnace is in good working order and whether it has some life left to it. Yeah. And, and I always love that they write the date on filters. Yes. And how often do we see that filter that it still has a date of when that buyer yeah. or when that <laughs> seven, seller bought that seven house? Seven years ago. Yes. Same yes. filter. Yes. We, we see that frequently. Yeah. The other thing that we see frequently is older water heaters. Yes. And water heaters are actually one of the top reasons uh, people have uh, water damage in, in their house. Many, many times when that water heater fails, it fails by leaking. And if you're mm -hmm. not watching it or you're away for the day or the weekend, um, that can cause a lot of damage. Yeah. So that a water heater is one of those things that you want to really be proactive on it. Plus, who wants to take a cold shower <laughs> while you're waiting for your water heater to exactly, show Exactly, exactly. Um, other, other items that we find frequently are, are homeowner repairs. I mean, Home Depot has a tagline, their big marketing line that you can do it. And a lot of people can, but there's also a lot of people that can't do it. And shouldn't. And we, we see that frequently. We can yes. see, you know, it's it's quite easy to identify the homeowner repairs. And sometimes they, they do it and it's it's functional, but it's not safe. Yeah. And that's especially true with electrical things. People mm -hmm. do electrical work and it kind of works. But when you step back and look at it and you're going, that's just not, not no. safe no. at all. Last but not least, especially this, this time of year, is uh, your, your smoke alarms and your carbon monoxide detectors. Uh, those things actually have a lifespan to them. And just because it's up on the wall and it chirps occasionally, doesn't mean it's actually working. So uh, replacing the smoke alarms after 10 years, uh, carbon monoxide alarms are five to seven years. Yeah. Um, those are things that they're safety items and it's uh, going to help protect you and your family. So those are important. And the carbon monoxide, we have to have those for certain type of financing. Yep. So those are one of those items. If you do not have one in your home, if it's a brand new home and if it has, um, if it's all electrical, you still need it because yes. it is part of our requirements for financing. So yep. as, as are having smoke alarms in bedrooms. Yes. In older houses, they only required them in the hallways. But mm -hmm. today for financing, you have to have a smoke alarm in each bedroom. Okay. And so those were our quick five, but we also know that on Whidbey Island, we have a lot of rodents. Oh God, yes. 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 Yeah, and um, look at where your crawl space entrance is. If your crawl space entrance is on the outside, you really want a super tight fitting door. Uh, this time of year, as it gets colder, it gets rainier, all the rodents want to move into someplace warm and dry and crawl spaces are the way to go. Yeah. Um, and who wants rodents in their crawl spaces? No, no, no. 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 And also in, on our island, they like to come in in the fall when there's a lack of water outside. Yeah. Side. Yep. The, their resources are getting slim, so they yep. come inside. Yep. So those are our main top five. And so if you have more questions, you can always reach Rick. Go to uh, Pacific Crest Inspections. Um, our website's packcrestinspections.com. You can just uh, Google that. And um, there's lots of information there. You can always call our office and ask questions. We're always happy to answer questions for, for uh, folks, even if you haven't booked an inspection with us. And another thing that I absolutely love about your company is that you have a lot of resources. Mm -hmm. You know a lot of the good roofers, not just roofers, <laughs> but good, <laughs> reputable 
Contractors. Yep. Yes, and contractors, electricians. So they are obs absolutely a good resource. So you can always go to their website. You can always go to my website, which is movetowidby.com. All right. Thanks well, for having me. Thank you, Rick. And as always, have an awesome day.